Hello everyone. So today, let us talk about uh, org reveal. Now there are already a lot of videos, not a lot of videos, but there are some videos on YouTube explaining what org reveal is and uh, what all you can do. But I thought I'll probably also make my version of it because the way I use org reveal is not massively different from others, but uh, there are a few configurations that uh, I have done. There are a few options that I use that I believe uh, you may also want to use. So first of all, org reveal, what exactly is org reveal? Org reveal is basically a package uh, that you can install in your Emacs so that you can export your org file to a wonderful, beautiful looking uh, web-based presentation. Now, I use org mode within Emacs and uh, most of my presentations are in uh, uh, Emacs only. Uh, right now, for example, I'm using org tree slide mode. So this works fine for my needs, for my audience need, needs, but uh, sometimes you have to create uh, presentations that are uh, very, very simple, and beautiful and glossy and uh, you know those web-based presentations that uh, you might have seen online and i'll show you my presentation what all uh, you can do with it i mean not what all you can do with it with, with it but what all you can do with it very quickly so the first thing is uh so to, to if, if you have to talk about if you have to uh, basically uh, uh learn org reveal my recommendation would be to install it. And let me just uh, very quickly uh, start with uh, the installation. So all you need to do, you need to install one, one package called uh, OX Reveal. And uh, if you can't really find OX Reveal in your uh, Melpa repository, then uh, try removing stable. You might not find it in the stable uh, repository. And uh, this is the GitHub repository where you can find uh, you know the documentation and various configurations that you can do it is to be honest it is not really very complicated even i mean most of these configurations are straightforward and you may want to use all of them but uh, i'll probably not show you all of them i'll pro probably show you few of them like the most common ones that i use so after the installation of uh, org reveal you can of course uh, start using it but uh, to use org reveal you have to use their uh, javascript so basically there is a javascript file called uh, reveal.js that you need to download somewhere on your local computer but uh, you don't need to download you can actually use something like this in your uh, somewhere in your head like on top of your file where you can simply use uh, this line uh, called i mean just just the location of that particular file so there's no need to actually install it like download the file locally so th this is something that you can do and at the same time to start if you want to export for example if i show you m one of my files so this is my file um, you know the org file that i want to export if i do Control c Control e i might not find uh, the option here um, for uh, the export and uh, the reason is that you need to actually load the library so let us do this so what what you need to do you need to basically type in, uh, I mean, um, when you do metax, like right now I'm doing alt x on Mac, you might need to do escape x, then load library, and then you have to type in the name, which is uh, ox reveal, and that is it. And now it says here loading ox reveal done. And now, if you do control c, control e, you will find this option on top called. Uh, export to reveal.js so before I export I just want to show you what I have configured here so in my configurations in, in my I mean the way export works is that most of your standard export options like you know time step nil date nil toc1 toc2 uh, num nil these options are you know common export options that are applicable for uh, HTML export, LaTeX export, and th these will also work for uh, your uh, reveal export. But the way I work is, I don't really want to include like multiple lines on top of my org file. I just use this setup file, and I made a video recently 
how to use setup file because it, it keeps things config like neat and uh, i i use uh, because the advantage of using setup file is that you can have uh, these files uh, based on what you want to do with your org file if you want to generate uh, a presentation for your office for corporates you can have a separate configuration and maybe if you're doing something for youtube or maybe you know for your friends i don't know um yeah why not you can have like sub separate org based uh, setup file and let me show you my setup file because uh, that is what i want to do i want to share what i what, like what all config, what all configuration i'm doing in my in my org reveal file and uh, the file name is uh, sparks standard reveal and uh, it is not really very complicated file it is uh, actually straightforward so the first thing is obviously the location of your javascript which is in my case i'm just using the online version then reveal.js comes with a lot of themes and by the way if you're using reveal uh, i mean this particular package here it is basically going to use uh, reveal.js which is basically the main thing the you know the main package or the main uh, javascript file uh, that you are actually downloading so you, you can learn about it from this particular revealedjs.com website and uh, it comes with a lot of themes that is the point and i'm using the black theme but there are a lot of other themes and then there is something called as reveal h level you can actually learn about these things i mean if you go to this particular repository and if you do control f you can actually learn what exactly is uh, uh, i mean what, what all configurations are uh, uh, are there so the purpose of this particular uh, hash level is let let me you know just export the file and then i'll try to explain so let us go back to the main uh, org file and control c control e capital r capital r so i want to actually generate one html file which will be saved in the same directory and this particular file if you have images the images will also be displayed uh, that is a wonderful thing right so let us take a look at uh, the presentation so this is my presentation and uh, the way I, the, the way it works is there is a matrix and uh, if you press space it will take you forward and if you keep on pressing space it will actually keep on going forward as per this matrix and if you want to see the matrix you can actually press o and it will show you the matrix here now this matrix is where uh, you may want to configure uh, i mean it's a two dimensional matrix and uh, based on your hash level one or two um one works fine actually uh, because in your org file you can have uh, for example uh, more than two levels i mean two levels are common for example you have overview then you have uh, you know the second level which is common questions that people ask me and then you can have third level so if you have multiple levels then uh, uh, whether you want uh, those uh, sub trees at level 2 or level 3 to appear uh, uh, to, to, to appear maybe uh, separately or not separately is something that you can control with hash level so this is something that uh, i use i use uh, in my configurations uh, h level one which works wonderfully well for me for my needs so this is my metrics and uh, you can also navigate this directly using uh, arrow keys but when you're using space bar it will start from uh, the very first slide it will go on the right and then on, on the right again and then it will go uh, on this level like it will cover all the slides at this level then it will uh, go to the next level and it will cover all the slides which you can see here that you know we also have the arrow keys so this looks uh, really nice and uh, if you keep on pressing spacebar i think that works well spacebar is for forward and shift spacebar will take you backward you know uh, in the order in in the linear order or whatever order you want to call it as per the matrix and you can see here that uh, th there is something called as uh, fragments so if you if you're used to those uh, slides where you want to create uh, bullet points which i think you want to you may want to display these bullet points one by one and uh, there is a way to do it uh, so let me go back to the slide and uh, let me show you these options so we, we, we so we were talking about how to get the option so we have to first load the library and then do ox reveal 
Then uh, we talked about uh, moving forward and moving backward. You can also use arrow keys vertically and horizontally. And to get the overview, you, you can press O. What else? And uh, we were talking about themes. So, you know, you, I'm using the black theme, but you can use a lot of other themes. You can actually check on this particular link where you can learn about, you know, these themes. And uh, we, we talked about hash level. And uh, yeah, you, you can also have images in your uh, org slide. Um, uh, in your oh, sorry, in your org reveal slide, for example, if you look at uh, this particular uh, this particular slide, there is an image which I'm by the way generating using Plant UML. If you are watching my videos, you know about Plant UML, right? So let us go back to the presentation. And yeah, we were talking about the fragmentation fragmented content. So all you need to do before your uh, bullet, you need to use uh, this particular line attr reveal underscore reveal and then uh, colon and then space colon frag and then the type of frag uh, that you want which is appear like it will appear one by one but there, there are other options which you can learn by going to the uh, by going to the uh, documentation so let me show you this one yeah this is the one that i was talking about so i, I think i'm happy with the frag appear what else? Um, yeah, so let us take a look further. I think I also wanted to show you a few things. So I, I mean, of course, I'm showing you the basic configurations, but uh, uh, these, these things are quite useful. You, you can also have uh, background images. For example, if you look at, uh, uh, I mean, for individual slide, for example, if I show you my, my particular uh, slide here or slide show here, the very first slide is basically using this uh, brownish color which you can do in fact for any slide you can uh, have uh, this, uh, uh, this this background which i believe uh, looks uh, really nice because you may want to have different colors for se separate slides and you can do that with the help of this uh, slide uh, property called reveal underscore background so this is something that you can do and uh, what else so let's go forward yeah i think that that is uh, all uh, and there are a few other things let me show you my setup file so we are talking about uh, the slide background but you can also have a slide background for your title because we do have a title slide in my case i'm using this brown color which is this hex value hash three three zero 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 that is my brown color and uh, you can also have a separate background for the TOC which is your table of content and uh, you can also have by the way separate style.css so I usually don't I mean I prefer not to do too many configurations uh, but it is good to know that uh, if you want some if you want to overwrite something like for example if you want to have footer for example right now we don't really have footer here but if I want I can have a footer and I can have uh, a footer with a specific background or maybe i can reduce the size of the of the footer because you will get some classes that you can use in your style.css to override and uh, for my slide title i want to display title subtitle and uh, my author name that is it which i can configure separately and there is also one more thing if you want your slide to uh, because right now i'm using the space bar to navigate the slide but if you want your slide show to run automatically maybe maybe you have it on your uh, big screen somewhere in your office you can just leave it running and it will work and let me just uh, uh, do it because you know why not Control c Control e rr and uh, let us go back let us wait for the message yes this is fine and f5 so now you can see that on the left hand corner left bottom corner there is a timer kind of a thing which is basically going to move to the next slide automatically and this looks beautiful i quite uh, enjoy this feature i, I love this feature in fact, in fact i mean uh, sometimes you just want to talk and you uh, don't really want to press the space key. i mean this may not be always relevant but especially for those cases where you just want uh, to display something in uh, without any manual intervention i think this is definitely useful and uh, and that is all. I, I think uh, 
I mean, as I mentioned before, there are videos already on Orc Reveal, but I also wanted to make my own version because uh, maybe I have shown you something that you never really saw before or maybe if you watched some um, videos and you were not really sure how to do this or maybe you were exploring the capabilities of Org Reveal. To be honest, it took me a while to choose Org Reveal, but I think I have now decided to use it for some cases and that is the beauty, right? Because you don't have to, uh, I mean, that is a good thing about Org mode in general. This particular file, I use it for, uh, this, this this particular Org file, guide to start your Atlassian career will be a chapter in my, one of, one of the chapter in my book. This particular file, it will also be um, its own PDF. If I have to generate a PDF from this, it can be HTML file, it can be just this org reveal HTML presentation, or I can just show you this presentation using org tree slide. So that is a wonderful thing. It's just one file and you can use it in multiple ways, right? That is the great thing. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.